Oh, evening internet. <clears throat> Welcome to my hodgepodge video again. Now, this video is a sort of replacement video for my electronics video that I uploaded a couple days ago. Um, <clears throat> the reason being is uh, the video uploaded sideways. For whatever reason, the iPhone was having a bad day, so it uploaded sideways. Needless to say, I'm re-recording the video to uh, demonstrate my laser-activated relay here. And uh, in the previous video, had you watched it, I plan on deleting it later, um, the, the, the laser beam was broken to control... If, sorry, let me reword that. If the laser beam was broken, the light would turn on. I rewired a bit differently now to say that if the laser beam was broken, the light would turn off. Kind of made more sense. And I can record things with some actual light here. So, let me give you an overview, basically, what's going on again and, and, and what's happening here. Okay, so here's my messy room. Yup. Yeah, it, it kind of looks messy. Anyway. <clears throat> so here we have the lab power supply and uh, the, the breadboard here. And let me just... Okay, so what's going on here is we're working with three sets of voltages. We're working with uh, 5 volts, 12 volts, and 120 volts AC. Now what's going on here is uh, um, I have 5 volts coming on into the breadboard by this rail here. And uh, what it's doing <coughs> is essentially powering or giving 5 volts of electricity down these wires into this networking card, which is... I have the pin soldered, which is providing power uh, by way of this Ethernet cable that's running along my floor here, up into this laser, which is mounted on a tripod. Now, can you see the laser beam there? See it there? Here, you can see if you see if I can get the camera lined up just right. Anyway, there's a laser beam there, and that laser beam points directly into this box here, and inside this box is a photo resistor. And uh, <clears throat> the reason why it's in a box it, it, in the first place is uh, a couple of reasons. One, the box looks cool. Actually, no, it looks terrible. I <laughs> made myself. Um, the real reason the four resistor is in the box is uh, it eliminates any of any ambient lighting. So uh, when I'm testing the circuit, uh, testing the max and min ranges, if you have any lights on or lack of light or the sun just kind of comes through a cloud at the right angle, all those different factors will affect the values that is read on the multimeter when you go and test the, the photo resistor. So by putting in a box in a house, in a hut, on an island all by itself, it isolates it from the rest of humanity, aka the rest of the you know ambient light. So basically it's just black, off, dark, high resistance, light on low resistance that's two values on and off no in between no range fluctuations anything like that so that's why it's in a box that's the photoresistor part now the next piece is and i actually i told you about the laser and, and that just points out the photo cell but those are two pieces working together there and then we also have the next major component which is the relay 12 volt relay but before we get to that it's coming though. We have this little substation here. What that does, it takes five volts that operates the laser and the photodiode, sorry, photoresistor, and all that does is when the beam is broken, it activates a base current using a using uh, the voltage divider equation with resistors. I have uh, this one here. This resistor right here is about a three or forty-seven ohm, enough to light the LED, which is a bit of a status indicator, really. This other LED or resistor here is a high enough uh, resistance that it kind of offsets the resistance from that resistor. And so, the, the, basically, how it works is when the two resistors are working together. So, if the light is sorry, if the resistance between resistor one, which is a photoresistor, is high. So high resistance, meaning uh, the, your hand's in the way or, or some object is blocking the beam, the circuit will shut off because the resistance of the other resistor will lower. Now, as the beam is shining into the photoresistor, that resistance is low, 
which means the resistance from the other resistor will compensate by raising, thus keeping everything in balance. So they, they kind of work together. Um, usually you would tune these types of things using a rheostat or a potentiometer, which is basically a fancy name for a variable resistor. Uh, I do have a variable resistor. Uh, I needed a higher value one. This one's only 1K. I need something around the range of 10K. So this to me is absolutely shit. Not worth it. Nope. Not even, not happening. Nope. Not a big deal. So I didn't use that. I took it the hard way. It just, just went straight out and did that. Even didn't use didn't even use a microcontroller. Actually, my microcontroller is still in use by the LED cube, but um, I'm gonna reclaim that little buddy in a, little bit, in a second there, sometime. So yeah. So let me show you how it works. So we have 120 volts coming in from the AC mains into the resistor, or sorry, into the uh, the um, what was that thing called again? The relay. Sorry, I've been drinking a little bit. Um, and uh, and there's a protection diode in there, just a one-way uh, a uh, diode for a uh, rectifier diode for limiting current, whatever, or limiting voltage rectification. Anyway, so Hi. what? Hi. Okay, so basically, what's going on here is Hi. when we break the beam, Hi. we're gonna ultimately lower the resistance. Hi. I'm busy. Mike, can I borrow your micro SD thing? <sighs> Look at this chump. Hey. Look, he's borrowing my micro SD. Yeah, well, hey. I can't, not until you give it to me. Okay, now tell the world why you're bothering me. <laughs> d d look, micro SD, I'm making a video. Okay, just give me a second. Not the video over. No, it's too long. Okay, anyway, so if I, if, I, if I break the beam... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> where, I don't know where it is, just give me a second. Okay, so when I break the beam, the resistance between the resistor goes up. So it's going to actually trigger... Get the hell, get him. Don't step in that. Okay. Okay, so now, see, I, I've reversed it to say that if my hand is in the way, um, the, the beam turns off. Now, if my hand is not in the way, it turns on. So, so that's effectively how that works. And I apologize for the length of this video. It's a lot longer, significantly longer than my last video, but it's going to take a lot less time to upload because of the lower quality. So I'm shooting from the iPod Nano and not the HD cam on the iPhone, which I don't really be shooting from. And this chump is in my way. Yeah, so he's that's, using the shoddy one. In other words, I'm not. It's not the shoddy one. It's a bit lower quality. No, it doesn't mean shoddy. It means fast upload. Be more efficiency. Nope. Hey, I got that myself. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're done. We're done here. Um, yeah, I'll. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye.